Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be ranking my top 10 bosses in Hollow Knight. I'll be basing my rankings on multiple things from the attack patterns to the lore behind the bosses. I say that the combat in Hollow Knight makes the bosses very enjoyable with there being a lot of good bosses in the game. All the bosses will be based on the Godseeker mode at God Home, so there will be DLC bosses. So let's get started. Number 10 is Nail Sage Sly. Nail Sage Sly is a mercenary in Dirtmouth and is brought back to his former glory as a great Nail Sage. Sly uses a giant nail and will attack you with multiple different moves. His moves range from a slash combo to using multiple nail arts, from a great slash to a dash slash. This makes the boss fun but challenging to play against because of his variety of attacks. The only negative of this boss is the second phase called Frenzy. In this stage he dashes around the arena multiple times with little time to get hit on him. This phase of the boss is just not necessary and it's also very tedious. Number 9 is Galleon. Galleon is a warrior dream boss that is an undefeated warrior who also claimed to be the strongest in Hollow Knight. His goal was to show to the Pale King that he was good enough to be a warrior. The boss contains of Galleon throwing a massive scythe that bounces off the floor multiple times. He would also spawn in soul scythes or smaller orbs that would bounce around the floor. I'd say the lore of this boss makes it really good. The only problem is that the boss is just a little too easy with quick slash. Number 8 is Winged Nosk. This boss is the flying form of Nos, but instead assumes Hornet's shape instead of the Knight's. The boss has four different moves ranging from a swoop to an outbreak of infection. The boss is interesting to play against because some of its moveset doesn't always play the same. Although the boss can get repetitive at times. Number 7 is Lost Kin. Lost Kin is the dream version of the Broken Vessel, but much more challenging. The boss shares the same attacks, but the pacing is faster, which makes the boss fun to play against. The lore for Lost Kin is that it is one of the many vessels that escape the abyss like the knight. The design for the boss is similar to the knight, with the main difference being the shape of the skull and the infection. The only negative with this boss is the infected balloons would just hinder the main focus. Number 6 is White Defender. White Defender is the dream version of Dung Defender, but what makes it such a good boss is how at this point, he is at the peak of his past glory and at his strongest. The pacing of his attacks are much faster and he also has some new moves such as Spike Slam which causes large spikes to jut up. The best part of this boss is trying to keep him in the air as long as possible in his ball form. Number 5 is Soul Tyrant. Soul Tyrant is the dream variant of Soul Master. But he also does his moves much faster and tougher, which makes it a fun challenge to veterans in Hollow Knight. This boss probably has the best lore as he refused to listen to the Pale King and decided that Soul was the solution to cure the plague. His work failed as he did not come to realize that he was slowly becoming infected. Number 4 is Paint Master Shio. Shio is a nail master, but unlike his counterparts Oro and Mato, he does not use a great nail. His moveset is by far the most exotic, and the only boss we see using paint moves. Shio's moveset ranges from doing a horizontal paint attack, to slashing downwards causing a column of paint to fall in a random order. Shio's lore states that he hung his nail to become an artist. He also experienced various forms of creation art. Number 3 is Nightmare King Grimm. He is the dream version of Troop Master Grimm and is probably the most challenging boss in this top 10. His moves are much faster and more dynamic, with moves like Flame Pillar where he remains stationary and summons 4 pillars. The boss also does 2 masks of damage instead of 1, and also gives you only a few times to heal. An indicator for this boss is when it does its Pufferfish move, which only happens 3 times at 75 HP, 50 HP, and 25 HP. Number 2 is Sisters of Battle. This boss is encountered in the Pantheon of Hollowness and is a form of the Mantis Lords where all three sisters battle you instead of just one. The boss is incredibly frantic with the sisters coming at you in every direction from left to right to above you. The boss has a lot of replayability as each Mantis can dash and drop anywhere in the arena. The only synchronized move is the boomerang attack. The boss is fun to play against, the only problem is that you have to be able to do the Pantheon of Hallowness to fight them. And finally, number one is Pure Vessel. The Pure Vessel is the prime version of the Hollow Knight, being completely unaffected by the infection. This boss has the coolest looking design and is honestly what a final boss should look like. 
His moveset contains of soul pillars where he slams into the ground causing pillars to jut up from the floor of the arena. He also shoots soul daggers that you must dodge with your shadow cloak. The lore for this boss is that this is supposedly right before the Hollow Knight is sealed and is at his strongest. So these are my top 10 favorite bosses in Hollow Knight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you all later.